Well, my family came from the Azores Islands between 1902 and 1920. Ironically, my ancestors in the Azores were in the, the whale hunting seafood business, which is probably renowned as maybe the, the least eco-friendly, right? And now I've been in the most sustainably and environmentally friendly seafood business. Wild Planet was born from a sense of reverence for the natural ecosystem that we should strive to, to use and yet maintain. It's important to catch wild seafood sustainably because unsustainable methods essentially mean that this access will end. All of our tuna is caught with either pole and line or by trolling and that's the most selective catch method. It catches only one fish and it catches the target fish with very infrequent bycatch of any other species. The other methods are, are so destructive that the bioweb can't sustain the kind of pressure that has been placed upon it. For example, the fishermen have developed these methods of plant, placing these floating devices at sea that attract tiny fish to them, which then attract bigger fish to them, and everything that used to be scattered about through maybe 50 square miles of open ocean is now aggregated and congregated underneath these floating devices called FADs, fish aggregating devices. These are radio beacons, sonar equipped at times, so that the fishing vessel knows which floating device out there has the biggest aggregation of fish under it. And so they just go from device to device, circling and taking everything there. The problem with that is that the fish that come to that location include everything, including tuna of, of all sizes, the, the very tiny ones that go there to seek shelter. Instead, they're unwittingly caught in the trap of the fad fishermen. So people talk about overfishing, which is an issue, but possibly a bigger issue is wrongly fishing. 